we are just days away from the Miss World finale. And while most of our contestants are busy in rehearsals, these six contestants are ready to face off in their head-to-head -head challenge. I'm Frankie Chenna. We're here in the Sky Lounge at the Phoenix Island Resort, and this is the head-to-head -head challenge. Today, we're joined by Mexico, Norway, Sri Lanka, Scotland, Nicaragua, and Northern Ireland. Ladies, just days away from the Miss World finale, how are you feeling? Excited. I'm so excited. Excited. excited, nervous. Yeah. Excited. Any, what was the word? A little bit of everything. A little some bit of nerves, everything. Some excitement. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's time for your head to head challenge because voting is now open. Here's how it works each contestant will deliver an opening presentation. I'll chat with Barney about the Miss World competition, and then it's the final question. Let's meet our first contestant. She comes from Mexico. With every sunrise, the beauty and grandeur of Chihuahua, the ancestral and majestic land of Tarahumara Indians, known as the Food Runners, shines bright. Ever since I was a little girl, beauty attracted me in all its forms and expressions, in the arts, sports, science, culture, people, and of course, through the love of my country. That is why I consider myself a versatile woman convinced that beauty is really all around us. As a software engineering graduate, I am deeply convinced that women are capable of achieving their goals and dreams in any way possible. Aside from traveling throughout my diverse and beautiful country, singing is one of my favorite hobbies. Practicing sports is my biggest passion. I love the soul and fighting spirit of the Mexican people, that no matter the adversities, always rise to the challenges ahead with strength, hope and a deep sense of solidarity. It paved the road for me towards the Gampo Foundation, where through the program, Quiero Ser, I have made a difference and brought a rate of hope to downtrodden children, aiming them towards a future of hope and opportunity. I believe in the beauty of humanity, through what they do and what they say. Mexico, you had so many amazing and inspiring quotes in your video. Tell us your motto. Thank you, Frankie. Well, uh, the quote with which I feel most um, related to would be the, the one that says that beauty is really all around us. Mm -hmm. I believe that beauty is in everywhere, in every place, in every moment, and also in everything that we do it with passion. Uh, I'm passionate about my career, I'm a software engineer, I'm passionate about sports, I'm passionate about music, I love singing, and I think that, well, this, all these activities really fulfill me, and I believe that all of us should do everything with passion because that, uh, that is when the beauty uh, expressed, and I, I want to encourage everyone to really live each moment, every moment, because the beauty, uh, you can find it everywhere. Thank you, Mexico. Thank you. Our next contestant is Norway. My name is Selina Hadegorn and I am representing Norway. Norway is known for the beautiful nature like big fjords, midnight sun and the most important, the northern light. I am so proud that I can call Norway my home. With my participation, I want to show everyone that you can reach your dream if you just work hard enough. Why is it so important to help people achieve their dreams? You know, for some years ago I had a really tough period in my life and the only thing that helped me out was my dreams. And at the Miss, Nor and Miss Norway final, uh, I won the Miss World Norway title. And it was just the most, uh, it was the best moment in my whole life. And I think that everyone should experience that feeling when you have reached a dream. And we are living in such a beautiful world with so many opportunities for everyone that we just have to believe in ourselves and believing in everything that we do and we need to help each other and give other compliments and just 
tell other people that you ha never have to stop dreaming and never give up on your dreams, even if it's hard. Thank you. Thank you, Norway. Our third contestant is Sri Lanka. Hi, Bovan. Hello, Nihao. I'm Dushani De Silva, Miss World Sri Lanka 2017. As the eldest of two, growing up into who I am today was filled with struggles and commitments. My parents were the ones who gave me the strongest strength in life. So I'm so grateful to them for my whole life and I love them so much. I believe a person should always enjoy what they do. That's why I chose to do what I'm most passionate about and that is acting. Apart from my profession, I am a charity worker. By the age of 20, I started up my charity organization, Ray of Sunshine. I have worked on mentality development of cancer patients, eradicating dengue from Sri Lanka and so on. My life wasn't a bed of roses. I committed a lot to come into this place where I am today. As a Miss World Sri Lanka, I would always love to live as beauty with a purpose. Sri Lanka, you mentioned in your video that you're a person who never gives up. Tell us more about that. I think it's uh, coming from my genetics because as I said in the video, uh, Sri Lankans never ever give up. So as a child, as a student, as a person, uh, as a career-oriented person who has become an actress in life, as a woman especially, I have gone through a lot as an Asian woman especially. Mm -hmm. So I know how much women has to go through to achieve what they're passionate about. But I achieved it. Today I'm sitting here as a Miss World contestant. So I'm proud of myself as a proud woman. What I have to say to the, all the women who are passionate is that never ever give up on yourself. and chase your dreams and never stop believing in yourself. Thank you, Sri Lanka. Thank you. After the break, we meet Scotland. Welcome back. If you're enjoying the challenge so far, make sure you share this video with everyone you know. It's time to meet our next contestant, Scotland. Hello. My name is Romy McCahill, I'm 23 years old and I'll be representing my beautiful country Scotland at Miss World 2017 in China. I have played piano since I was four years old. I now play professionally and I teach piano lessons. To be able to teach children and encourage them to discover their own musical talent and watch that passion grow within them is an amazing thing and I am so lucky that I'm in the position where I can help them. My gran was the most incredible musician I've ever met in my life. Sadly, last year, she lost her battle with Alzheimer's. For those of you who are not that familiar with Alzheimer's, it's a form of dementia. Alzheimer's is so much more than memory loss. It's confusion, disorientation, and horrible seizures. So I've been working hard over the last few years with Alzheimer's Scotland to help raise awareness and support them in any way I can and I will continue to do so until they find a cure. I am extremely active and I love to participate in all sports. I love to work out and get my adrenaline pumping and I'm proud to say that when I was 16 years old I successfully earned my black belt in karate. I am so excited and honoured to be representing Scotland at Miss World 2017 and I cannot wait to meet all the other contestants and meet lifelong friends while I'm over there. And as we say in Scotland, Lang me yer lum reek. Scotland, you spent 12 years caring for your grandmother. What is the greatest lesson that she taught you? I like to believe that in every experience in life, you learn a lesson and it's also a blessing. And throughout my whole time caring for my gran, I believe it was both. I learned so much throughout it, but it was also a blessing at the same time because even at the peak of her illness, she was always like the brightest personality in the room. She would always make us laugh. And at the same time, I think that maybe the greatest 
thing that I learnt, not only from her but the whole experience, was that gratitude is the, the greatest thing ever. Because if you're always grateful for where you are in life and you're just taking life as it is and living in the moment at all times, then you don't allow yourself to feel negative emotions such as anger, jealousy or even insecurities because you're always just so grateful to be in that moment. And I think that's really important because it's so easy to just glide your way through life and then one day the experiences that you're living will one day just be a memory and something you'll always look back on. So I'm so grateful that throughout the whole time I was so grateful to be there. And yeah. Thank you so much, Scotland. Our next contestant is Nicaragua. Soy Montserrat Allen, tengo 19 años y esta es mi tierra, Nicaragua. Soy una joven alegre, carismática y sencilla. Me encanta mi tierra, amo el mar y los volcanes, siento que me dan paz y tranquilidad. De pequeña sufrí bullying por la forma de mi cabello, pero hoy soy una mujer segura de sí misma y orgullosa de sus raíces. Gracias a Mis Mundo Nicaragua tuve la oportunidad de conocer a Operación Sonrisa, donde espero seguir apoyando como profesional. Mi sueño es convertirme en odontóloga y ayudar a la gente de mi comunidad. Qué lindo decir tu nombre en Nicaragua, es un honor representarte. Nos vemos pronto en China. Xie Xie. What would you tell young girls that are being bullied? Mi consejo para todas esas personas que están pasando bullying es que tengan fuerza, que tengan fuerza interior, de que no están solas, de que tienen a Dios, que tienen a su familia, de que rompan el silencio, porque este, es importante decir lo que sientes, no supriman tus sentimientos y que aprendan a quererse a como son, con sus defectos y con sus virtudes. Thank you, Nicaragua. Thank you. Our final contestant of Group 16 is Northern Ireland. Hello, I'm Anna Henry and I'm proud to be this year's Miss Northern Ireland. I'm 23 years old and I'm from a small countryside village in Northern Ireland called Port Glenone. I recently graduated in Renewable Energy Engineering. My ambition is to promote females in the STEM subjects and in particular the engineering industry. I aspire to influence young girls growing up that you can work in diverse sectors such as the male dominated engineering industry and the beauty industry. Beauty with a purpose is imperative in my role as Miss Northern Ireland. Leading up to Miss World, I have been and will continue to be an ambassador for the Northern Ireland Children's Hospice. I am humbled to work alongside the amazing carers and witness the incredible work carried out, providing a commendable end of life service for those suffering with mental and physical illnesses. Why is it important for women to enter male dominated fields? Well, this is something that I feel um, really strongly about as I recently graduated as a renewable energy engineer. In my career plan, I want to inspire, encourage and promote females to work in a male-dominated industry, but in particular within the STEM subjects. I believe that the key to innovation is having an equal team um, with diverse, diverse team members of both genders. Um, and this will lead to, to real innovation um, where technology will develop at a quicker level. I believe that any lady should achieve their dreams and just eliminate any stereotypical um, views that people have. So if you want to work in a male dominated industry, you work, you work hard, achieve your dreams and do what you have to do to get there. Thank you, Northern Ireland. And great job, ladies. Part one and two are finished. <laughs> Only two parts left. Yes. Remember, you have the power to decide which one of these contestants makes it into the Miss World Final 40. And there are three ways to vote. Liking the contestants' official Miss World Facebook page, voting for them on the Miss World website, or voting and following them on their official Mobstar accounts. The contestant with the most increase in votes, likes, and follows after this episode will advance directly into the Miss World Final 40. After the break, we take a look at the multimedia component of Miss World.
welcome back. Our contestants have been sharing, posting, liking, and swiping on Twitter, Facebook, Mobstar, and Instagram. Let's take a look at the Miss World Multimedia Fast Track event. As we all know, multimedia has always been a massive, massive part of Miss World. In fact, it has its own fast track competition, which means the winner will then progress to the top 40. So let's take a look at what some of the girls have been posting. So what kind of photos do your followers like the most? Uh, actually, they like the most selfies. They okay. are not my favorites because they are showing just <laughs> just the face, but for right. the followers, they are their favorites. We have a lot of social media to manage nowadays because we not only have to upload things on uh, Facebook, but we have Instagram, we have Twitter, we have Mobster, we have like a bunch of things yes. to be uploading, you know, stuff so people can can see what we're doing here in the mid world. The contestants are judged on their ability to engage and interact with their fans on social media. Marks are also awarded for fan engagement on Mobstar. Have you posted like every day since you've been out here? Oh, every day. <laughs> about everything I do, about every single moment. I post videos, I post pictures, everything. Twitter. Twitter okay. is also trending on uh, social media, so yeah, I use that as well. My audience uh, is, is a wide range of uh, different people, but mostly uh, very smart, eloquent uh, Fijian people, I'd say. Um, not only in Fiji, but abroad as well. So uh, issues such as climate change and things like that um, are what we, well, what I usually follow. I really enjoy Instagram, um, mainly because there's that option of making a story which makes it live. So when I'm posting a story, whether it's in the gym, whether it's when I'm waking up, you know, it gives that feeling of, wow, I'm like that as well and I can achieve that as well. I always felt like I'm here with all the other uh, Mongolian people. So that's why I always try to put um, interesting posts and I post every day. Well, all of our contestants have done a fantastic job in reporting back to their countries what's going on behind their scenes through the multimedia. Technology is becoming so advanced these days and so a big congratulations to all of them. Cześć, jak się masz Poland? Yeah, that's great. Boten, boristas, muchachas, bonitas, por favor. Namaste, India. Yemeri. Yemiri. Pehli life story hai. Pehli life story hai. Wait, what did thank I just say? <laughs> Tanevan? Yeah, Shukriya is like, thank you in Urdu and Tanevan is thank you in Hindi. Okay. <laughs> hey, Barney. Hey, Frank. So, social media and really media in general is such a huge part of the Miss World competition. It really is, and every year it's been growing, and it's not just because, you know, the ladies have to get likes on their posts. It's not just about that. At the end of the day, they are reporters for Miss World. Hmm. Because when people tune in, they only see the final and they only see, you know, the stuff that goes on at the final. But really, what these guys show on their, on their social medias goes much deeper than that. We've been, to, uh, we've been up to such amazing things these past few weeks, you know. Um, I've been posting a lot on, like, Snapchat and Instagram about what I've been up to. And these guys have been posting loads about what they've been up to. And it's just, it, it really is special because it shows the world the amazing things that we do here. Absolutely. And I mean, thus far, millions of impressions between the likes and the swipes and the votes and the follows, and it, it's absolutely incredible. Yeah, and at the end of the day, we have these guys to thank, you know? So. Great job, ladies. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up. So while you go and post on social media during the break, after the break, it's the final question. Welcome back. It's time for the final question. Now, each of our contestants were given the question before the show. I'll read the question one more time, and you'll each have 30 seconds to answer. Best of luck. In your opinion, what profession deserves the highest salary and why? Northern Ireland. In my opinion, I believe that the profession that deserves the highest salary is those that work within the healthcare industry. I'm not only talking about like the doctors and the nurses, I mean everyone from the dietitians, the paediatricians, right down to those in research. I can probably speak for the majority of us here, we've all been in a scenario where we've had a loved one sick in hospital and we completely put our trust in those doctors and those that work in the healthcare. It's not only what they do, it's the hours they put in, um, the, the personal level they get to with each client and not only with the client but with their family as well. 
I believe that in medicine, um, it's not only initially what happens, it's the research. So much money has to go into the research to allow things to develop, to allow uh, new medicines to come out. Um, and that's what it's all about. It's all about saving, saving everyone, keeping everyone healthy and looking after those in their families. Thank you. Thank you, Northern Ireland. Nicaragua. En mi opinión, para tener una sociedad productiva necesitamos de todo tipo de profesionales. Sin embargo, la educación es una base fundamental para una vida próspera. Y los profesores necesitan tener salarios merecidos, ya que su trabajo es fundamental para nosotros. Thank you, Nicaragua. Scotland. I do respect so many professions, but for me, in my opinion, I would say medical professionals particularly doctors working in high acuity situations, for example, dealing with trauma or in areas that have been affected by war or natural disaster where they may be lacking resources. These are extremely stressful jobs and at the end of the day, they're ultimately responsible for life and death. My own sister is a doctor, so I know just how hard it is, hard work it is, how much stress it is, but also how rewarding it is as well. And I say I respect them rather than just I want them to have the biggest wage because money, I suppose, is a way that we show how much we value these people in these jobs. But I say respect because these doctors or medical professionals mostly, most of the time, are in it because they have that urge in them that they want to help others and they don't really care about money all that much. It's just what they want to do. So I really respect them and they work so hard, so I think they have such a huge responsibility, so I would say medical professionals. Thank you, Scotland. Sri Lanka. Um, thank you, Frankie, for this wonderful question. In my opinion, I think all the professions are being paid, and there are increases and decreases of the payments, but in my opinion as a woman, I think a mother who gives birth to a human being, a wonderful human being, should be paid because 24-7, 365 days, they work without gaining anything for the children to, to uplift and to bring up a beautiful human being to win the world. So I think uh, I know how much my mother committed herself, her life, her time, her profession for me to bring me to this level. So I think a mother, a woman should be the one who should be like in the first place in a profession and who should be highest paid. Thank you. Thank you, Sri Lanka. Norway. Thank you. I believe that money can define a person, but if I could choose uh, the people that should get most paid for the jobs, I would choose the doctors and nurses and all the other people that helps other people in need. Thank you. Thank you, Norway. And finally, Mexico. Well, I believe that every profession it has a big importance in our society. But if I have to choose a, a specific one, I would say also professors because they have a, a really important job in this world because they have the chance to change the, to change the world uh, since they are giving all this knowledge to all these kids that they are the future of our entire society. So I believe that they probably should be the ones that uh, are, will be most paid. Thank you, Mexico. Thank you. Congratulations, contestants. Are you glad it's over? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want one more question? We keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> the final question, part two? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Mexico is ready to go. <laughs> but that is the end of this head to head challenge. Remember, you have to decide which of these contestants deserves a spot in the Miss World Final 40, and you can do that by voting for them on the various platforms. You can also stay up to date on all things Miss World by following us on the Miss World website and on the official Miss World accounts on Facebook, Instagram, Mobstar, Twitter, and YouTube. Join us next time with Turkey, Thailand, Lesotho, Myanmar, Serbia, and Philippines. Vote in our head-to-head -head challenge to have your favorite contestant advance to the final 40. There are three ways to vote. Visit the Miss World website, on Mobstar using their official Mobstar account, or by liking their official Miss World Facebook page. The contestant with the most increase in votes, likes, and follows will advance directly to the final 40.